Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Sir Drinks a Lot. You tuned into a Lap It Up. My drink review series. Top tier. With content. <laughs> I can't even see. I can't even uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> um, uh, I'm. I can't decide. I'm in a I'm in a good mood, but I'm also kind of reprehend like rep no not reprehensible. I'm a tentative anxiety. Um, going into the doctor today to for. A First visit, just to console on some things like what, like like what I can do with the, the you know whenever I get the cough. Is there other things that I can do? I've had a bit of a clearing my throat for a long time. Um, I found out like a, a long time ago, really, that the old one of the places that we used to live in had black mold, and my mom had had some issues. Um, maybe that could be like that I <clears throat> the cough that I occasionally get. And just being susceptible to bronchitis, being an old guy, older guy, not old, but you know, it's a good idea to go in, get checked out and checked up. I, I grew up in a household that was the, the, the sub household of a doctor. My grandfather was a doctor and my mom tells it like this, that she felt that she said she said that doctor children don't get sick is the way that she put it and uh, was the way or the way that she felt that my grandfather uh, our father handled it um, and if they did he would be able to tell like okay do this do this you know take this and you'll be fine you know and um, we're a fairly healthy family really. Um, I think, like, my grandmother had glaucoma, um, in her later, like, 80s, you know, she, she passed away in her 90s, she was, like, 98, um, and, uh, yeah, like, um, my grandfather had Parkinson's, um, uh, on my mom's side, uh, and, and, um, uh, my, uh, Let's see, he developed diabetes, but, uh, like, it, like, went into it mostly due to poor treatment at the nursing home, like he didn't think beforehand, um, and then he got out of it at a newer place where they were really taking care of him before he passed away, um, so, I don't know, it's, it's frustrating to think about, um, I... I don't, I don't know what, what's, what we'll have in the first visit. It probably might just be a whole bunch of talk and testing and maybe some taking some blood or whatever or something. But, um, I do know it's not, you know, a lot of major stuff isn't going to happen. But it's, it's, it's take your responsibility of being a big boy, you know. Because we didn't do checkups. When we're sick, you go to the doctor, you get medicine, you get better. Uh, if you hurt yourself, break your arm, you know, there's an accident, ER. Um, when something is physically wrong, you go to a doctor and have them check you out, and then, if necessary, then the other stuff from there. But general check checkups were not really a thing. Also, boys, boys don't, boys don't do that. Men don't do that. You know, so. Um, but that's, that's kind of generally the situation. I don't, that's like I said, I'm not anti, you know, health, for sure. Um, it's just frustrating, because I don't know. Man, I, I have like white coat fever I, or whatever it's called anxiety uh, fever I don't know why it's called fever um, 
Just the just I'm anxious about it. Yeah, we, we all need a candy, but okay. Anyway, today's drink of choice. Yeah, I figured I'd try the Starbucks Frappuccino chilled coffee drink. The limited edition pumpkin spice. I've never had pumpkin spice. Period. Exclamation point. Never. Never been a thing. Never tried it. Um, I haven't tried any of the Starbucks ones. So this is the first, my first, uh, first, it's first try. Doesn't say to shake it, but I figured you're a good idea. Pumpkin spice, calories 300, fat grams 4.5, saturated fat 3 grams, trans fat 0, cholesterol 20 milligrams, sodium 140 milligrams, 45, uh, 54 grams total carbs. Uh, 46 grams of total sugars, added sugars, and all that fun stuff. Uh, ingredients are brewed Starbucks coffee, water and coffee, reduced fat, skim, wait, reduced fat milk, sugar, uh, maltodextrin, natural flavors, pectin, uh, distributed by the North American Coffee Partnership, purchased, purchased in New York, uh, yeah, USA. USA. So let's give it a shot. Mmm, look, pumpkin, obviously. It's not bad. I like the flavor. Reminds me of a pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. It's not bad. It really isn't. It's actually pretty good. There's just kind of a... I feel like it's just weird to say this, but like a cold, watery, wet patina around everything like it's everything under cold water with this flavor that's like really good uh not bad though honestly it's pretty good um it's really sweet and I don't really taste the coffee. All I taste is this pumpkin spice, and it seems like it seems like I'm I'm drinking like a skim milk coffee. Which I say, it's not terrible. It's just it's okay. It's okay. I, I I like it, and I would I would I would drink it again. So, let's say I give it a three, I give it a seven. Uh, though I wonder how a hot coffee, a hot version of a Starbucks would be. Just a weird, weird, weird back flavor and like my brain is like water rushing over rocks cold water the rocks are the pumpkins and the pumpkins are the flavor it's not bad though yeah sometimes you gotta you gotta try new things um I am I, I am worried that I'm because okay the place that I go that that my doctor is also um, a weight loss center as well, which I it's one of the things that I've been needing to do. So when I'm first going in, I want to talk about my cough, and secondly, um, I had some uh, I've had like athlete's foot for a long time, and I try to put in like powders and I do like 
uh, vitamin E my feet and everything because they get dry. Um, and it's kind of one of those things that I want to look into, like going, hey, uh, maybe I need to go see like a foot doctor, but I need, you know, for like fungal, because like, like, I think I've got some, I have like, like nail fungal stuff. You know, I, I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, treating my feet good. Uh, but I, I want to go through my insurance, which means having my doctor go, hey, go here. Or my doctor says, hey, here's this ointment or this powder. This is what you need. You know what I mean? Plus, it's one of those things where if the doctor knows me and I've gone in... I can call in and maybe be like, hey, doc, uh, got a bad cough. Uh, I think I'm coming down with, you know, something. I was wondering if, I mean, I, see if you could, you know, um, pres get me something and they could get me a prescription like that. Or I could go in quick because my the clinic is really, this little clinic is pretty neat. Talk to them, get that done and not have this wait of an hour or more have to fill out paperwork every time they come in it would it seems and then have to go back three or four times <sighs> yeah it was like no I want to go in I want to you know like if I have a cough or something I want cough meds I don't want regular over the counter cough meds you know, like, like I, I can go to the shelf and buy it. Those don't work well for me. Some of them do, depending. But, like, I had a cough for six months one time. And I should have been a big boy and went to the doctor. If I had choice, I would have... Them check out my lungs because <clears throat> I, I mean I can I can talk you know I can I can sing and I can you know I can take a deep breath I'm you know I'm doing good but some of those things where I'm like I'd like to have them check this I don't check my chest I like them to check my head um, most of my sinuses uh, I need to do an allergy test too but like getting all that stuff done kind of scares my wallet and me. Uh, partially because it's the whole thing of like, you know, you don't want to go, you know, if it's dumb, it's dumb. Um, don't go looking for problems unless you want to find them. I know it's dumb, but it's also dumb to let it wait that long and not find a problem. Just because you didn't find it doesn't mean it's not there. Wait. Just because you don't go looking doesn't mean you don't have a problem is what I meant. <laughs> if I don't look for it, it's not there. Okay. So, yeah. I give it a three and a seven. Starbucks. Not bad. Pumpkin spice. But anyway, as always, I'm Sir Drinks a lot, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and stuff to enjoy it all down to the last drop. I'm heading to work. I'll catch you guys later. Y'all take care.